I'm going to do a unboxing of the Melita Gavilia Cafe BCM-4C coffee maker. It's, uh, I'm pretty sure this is discontinued years ago. Um, I'm not sure when exactly it was discontinued, but this is allegedly, and I think I pretty much believe it, allegedly a new, <coughs> a new one that's never been used. However, it has been unboxed. Um, I've seen in the pictures on eBay that it was still in the plastic and things like that. And it is green. So it's one of those four cup models that Gavilia sends out, or they uh, make coffee. Um, they sent them out for free, if I understand right, uh, with their coffee, uh, I want to say samples, but probably just normal coffee that they were selling. I think they did ads on TV. I forgot all about them, but I noticed uh, my mom had one and I noticed how well it brewed the coffee temperature wise. Probably not, maybe not optimal temperature, but it, it was close. And then it did reach, it did reach the temperature. Uh, I forget how far into the brew cycle. And we are at uh, an altitude that's uh, not ideal here. Um, I think we're at 3,202 feet, and Sioux Falls, this is Rapid City, but uh, where I was checking that coffee maker out at was probably more like 2,000 feet, I can't forget, but probably not the best, but I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. I actually got this yesterday and just went, after I got it, I went home and went to bed and didn't even unbox it. Let's see if I can. Looks like you just got uh, materials there to help ship it in. Sure enough, he's got the original box here. I'm using my phone here to help monitor my uh, video. I can achieve focus with that if you're wondering what I'm doing. Like I could focus on me, the stuff back there. Here's my other coffee maker I just got. <laughs> I don't know if I can even say the name of that. Zuri Rushi. Um, it's a five cup. It's a really nice one. I like it. But I just want to check out and see what this this little four cup here can do. I think I'll just call it the Melita coffee maker. So this guy's got this wrapped here in plastic. So I can go. If you really wanted to give it a new look, I'm assuming this was a guy that didn't pay too much attention really. I think it worked. Looks like he might have sealed the box back up. <laughs> kind of. He really wanted me to have the, ex the experience of opening this brand new. Which all it was was a little piece of tape. Uh, I forget what kind of tape you call that. Not masking tape. But So we do have the uh, instruction manual, operating instructions. So it comes with all the goodies. That's awesome. Model BCM-4C, comma BCM-4CB. Hmm. Well, this is green, so I don't know if that changes the model number. I don't really know. It even comes with a uh, Melita cone coffee filters. Number two, which I actually have anyway. Of course, mine are not white, they're unbleached. I kind of did want to get bleached, but uh, it's fine. 
I've got a few here. I don't know if I want to cut into those. I'm going to ruin this whole concept of this machine being brand new <laughs> right, right away, right? And it's got the cardboard, everything. Just here, let me focus in on that. No, don't focus on me. Focus on that. I might brighten it up just a tad. Okay. So being this is brand new and it's been in the box for, I'm assuming, potentially up to 30 years, maybe, I don't know, 20 years. I don't want to just tear into things. I mean, it really is brand new. It's got a tag on there. See that? He wasn't kidding, it's, it's got tags and everything. We do not want to break into this too carelessly. I might have to rip something apart. I can't really have to if I'm really careful what I'm doing. We got that off. There's that piece of plastic or cardboard. Put that away real nice. And it's got a little scoop inside there. Nice. It's got a little instructions on how to, to mount this uh, filter or this uh, filter basket thingy on here on the tag. It, it has those instructions. Hopefully, I can figure that out right. But you never know. Sometimes things are a little crazy. All right, I'm back again. Looks like uh, my memory card ran out of storage capacity. So I guess the unboxing video got cut a little short. But all I did was I ran through uh, some water to sort of clean the thing out after sitting for X number of years. And I, I did a little temp probe on it and it reached 190 for most of the brew cycle. And then towards the end, um, it was actually all the way up to 206, the very, very end, where it probably was mostly just steam, I'm guessing, coming out. Like, it was pretty much already done, but just kind of blasting steam, I think, or something. So it got, it got really hot. I mean, that was a quick, wow. So I'm going to go ahead and focus on that. I'll probably run some real coffee through there now. And, yes... If you wonder what I'm doing with my phone, I can focus on different things, monitor my video. I can focus like on me, for example, up this close. Yeah, it looks like I can do that. The coffee pot. So that's what that's all about. <clears throat> all right. And yeah, this still has the tag on it. I still didn't take it off. I probably will shortly. Grab number two Melita filter. I think you know what that looks like. So, not a big deal there. I tend to fold mine sometimes. I don't know if this needs it folded to fit in here well. I noticed the hole's kind of off to one side, so it's probably important if you do fold it to have the hole. Um, away from the fold or have the fold away from the hole. Here I'm probably going to pre-wet mine.
I was kind of wanting the water to heat up, but it would probably cool down anyway. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, before I even bother doing that, I need to get some beans. So, try my hands here. Here's a local roaster. Oh. I can't even think of the name of the place. Harriet and Oak, I think. Sometimes I do pure bean. I want to give these guys a shot. This here is just your Columbia single origin bean. I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot. Before I do that, I'll probably determine how much water I'm going to use, which is probably going to be 24 ounces. <laughs> we figured uh, this four cup machine, each one of those cups is six ounces. So, you know, I'm being really fussy here. I don't have a container that will hold. Here, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm weighing. I don't know if this thing will go up to 24. It really goes up to 20. So 20 point. Five is close. Pouring water in here. So if you just go with 20 ounces, it's about on this machine, somewhere between three and four on the marker. Four more ounces, well, probably 3.75 if I can get it that tight. Doesn't really matter, it just makes the video longer. Hey, 3.74, that's, if we combine what I just did there, that'd be like 24 ounces. And you don't have to be that exact. So you made it right up to the form. The indicator thing, if you see right there, it's in red. Right at four. Almost high thoughts of just running another cycle of water through there without actually making coffee. But they were probably pretty good. Just one. <clears throat> So, let's open up this bag of beans. I'll show it to you again. Hmm. It's like it's got this little protective thing over it. Little sleeve. Oak Roasters, Columbia Single Origin. There it is. I forgot. Well, here's my calculator. I think that means we'd go with 1.32 ounces of beans. I usually go by gram. <laughs> So, whoops. Let's see if this 
see what I'm doing. Might have already lost my video. I'm still there. I'm trying to step away from it so you... It's kind of awkward doing it this way. 1.32. Usually I measure in grams, but I forgot to convert it first. This should work. It should be somewhere, I'm guessing, between 32 and 36 grams. This isn't making any sense because I just took some out. And now I'm adding and it doesn't add anything to my weight. There it goes. Somewhere between there. It doesn't make any sense. weird. I can take like quite a few out and it doesn't really do much. And we're going to count that as close enough. Wish I was a little more tight. What is that for grams? 38 grams? Seems a little strong. Now it says 37. Now it says 41. Wow. Something is not right. <laughs> Let's try this again. I guess I wanted 31 or uh, 1.5. Point three one, I think I said. There we go. One point three one, if I remember right. Is this video even moving? Yep. <laughs> so where are we at for grams? Thirty seven grams. Maybe a little strong. I think usually I'm at. Well, I don't know. Usually I make 20 ounces. This does 24. I guess I've done 24 as well. Well, we'll see how this turns out. And if I didn't make this on the last video, here's some of the materials that were in the box. I might splice these videos together. The instruction manual. Interesting. See if there's any points of interest to share. Of course, it came with a few coffee filters. Wow, those have got to be old. Very interesting. So they can show those. Very, very interesting. All right, I've taken quite a bit of time <laughs> to do this. That seems a little strong. I think I did a one to 18 ratio. Wow. Google, how many grams are in 24 ounces? Hey Google, how many grams are in 24 ounces? 24 ounces is equal to 680.389 grams. 
To convert from ounces to grams, multiply the mass value by approximately 28.35. Yeah, I get the right number, 638. Hey Google, how many grams are in 24 ounces? 24 ounces is equal to 680.389 grams. To convert from ounces to grams, multiply the mass value by approximately 28.35. Yeah, that's about right. I have 37 grams right here. Mm -hmm. I used the 1 to 18 ratio. Sometimes I use um, 1 to 17, 1 to 16.7, something like that. That's about right. Let's just get back to my video here. You can see where I'm at my grinder. Slap on my lid, I have a kind of the medium auto drift setting. careful how I might I just want to pour this in here because the filter a number two doesn't really reach much height there and then if I just pour it in carelessly I'll probably uh, get some grind I'll try to show what I'm doing here I'll get some grinds of uh, on the other side of the filter, defeating the whole purpose. Usually I just kind of pour it in there. Maybe I can if I'm careful with the help of a spoon. I usually don't do it this this slow. I usually it's like bang on this enclosure. <laughs> or hopper, what do you call this thing? I probably already got some grinds in there. Wouldn't doubt it. But anyway, gotta focus that baby. That's what we got. A few grinds never hurt anything. It's probably more like uh, chaff. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and slap this in here. Get that locks into place. So there you go. It's got the brew cover. Still kind of want to weigh this, weigh this, I mean uh, measure the brew temperature. I kind of made a mess when I was doing it last time. With the basket being tilted, the water was kind of dripping onto the heating elements here. Maybe if I'm a little more careful, we can do it. If I did it from the center. I'll probably drip the other way. If I watch it, maybe we can do it. It doesn't like that too much. Huh. That's not going to like it. 
I am curious though about the brewing temperature with the coffee might affect grounds being in there might affect it a little bit. There's a little tilt, but in the water, it should catch the water. We're going to go ahead and go with it. So this is the first time that this has ever made a pot of coffee. Allegedly. Now this was all wrapped up in plastic. Had its tag on. There's all this cardboard that it was in. So we'll see. I'll have to watch to make sure the water doesn't run down of this probe stuff in here. It's creating a tilt of the lid. Finally, I see a little bit of... Well, I should have a timer going too. Right now it's exactly 9.15. It's kind of a rough estimate, and it just pretty much started dripping down. So it's 182 on my. Well, this is going to constantly change. But. That's pretty impressive. These temperatures that it's reaching that fast. Plus, it's not completely sealed shut. I bet it would do better if I just didn't even have it in there. Well, we know from last time that it's, it's around 190. I'm going to let this kind of do its thing for a little bit. So I bet that gets even hotter when there's not a crack on the top here from the probe being stuck in there. Got little pieces of chaff from the freshly ground coffee. Well, I'm not sure how hot that heating element gets. Hopefully, it doesn't like burn the coffee. I don't think it would. I mean, the the heating, the warming plate, that's what I meant. So we're about halfway through. I'm kind of curious where it's at now. Whoops. Gotta be careful because I don't want this water running down. It's saying 196, 197. I don't know if it's really stuck in the brew though. Now it climbed down. It kind of depends on when you have it. This isn't giving me the. There we 
we go. For all I know, I stuck the paper. I got it the paper on the other side of it. You know, 190, 191 is pretty good. For this altitude, especially, like I said, we're uh, at 3,202 feet here. Now, last time when I brewed, it got all the way up to 206, like towards the end. Sure, 200. Some of that might be where I'm placing that probe. <laughs> Intents and purposes, it's actually done brewing. 205. I think I just heard the relay click. So I think it's done. So yeah, I would have to say for the most part that was 90 degrees. That, that last little bit there probably wouldn't necessarily count all that much. Well, let's, let's pour a cup and see what we think of this. Really what I should do is measure the, measure the, a craft. If, it, if that's at 180, then I think that, that would be pretty good. Of course, we got the heating element to sort of Focus anywhere in particular here. I think I better turn this bugger off. It's telling me 177. So I better start pouring, stop messing around. I'm expecting that to be more like 180. Probably better take this off. I don't think it's done really. Nope, it's not done. It's still got, maybe my grounds were too small. Probably better leave that in there now. Hopefully, if I turn this back on, it doesn't try to brew or something.
So I might have had the grind size a little bit uh, fine. That should be done by now. Of course, me sticking the probe in there and kind of mess with it. Good. Even 